Good day, it's Sedlow, and it's an update to the video I posted the other day with uh, the F-15E and attacking moving targets with the uh, point track mode. Um, in that video, I said that uh, the F-15 would track a point target, but you had to have point track boxed. Um, so that has been brought to my attention not to be really the case. Um, the F-15E Suite 4 and the lightning system that we have in the game right now was not designed to track moving vehicles like I uh, had said. Um, however, it does do it in game. Um, now, I should caveat that with it did have the ability to do that in a limited way, but it was not designed for that. Um, it was not always accurate, and uh, it was not something the actual crews used um, in combat or training. So I'm not going to use that in uh, my missions or scenarios anymore, um, because that's not what they did. Uh, you could see that the uh, targeting pod did track the moving vehicle fairly well. Um, I'm not sure if that will be changed in the future um, by RASBAM or not. Um, I suppose the most realistic way is that it will be changed because it wasn't really accurate or used, but it may stay because most people do fly this aircraft single player and um, that is uh, makes it a little bit easier to employ laser guided weapons that way. So we'll see. But um, my understanding is that they didn't do it. Um, the way it worked was that crews would designate a point out ahead of the uh, moving vehicle and then manually move the uh, cursors over it as the uh, bomb fell and the laser was firing. So let's try that. Um, we know we've got the moving vehicle out here. There he is. Um, I know that this vehicle is going to start moving left to right, so let's designate a point out in front of it here. We are 13 seconds to release. We'll go master arm on. Uh, weapon away. We're going to start the cranking maneuver. The uh, vehicle is moving. Let's start moving the laser down a bit. Try to get an intercept on them. 10 seconds to uh, impact. 5 seconds. Let's uh, try to get it over it. That oh, was close enough and it worked. So that's kind of how I'm going to go with it moving forward. Um, in the game right now it's easy to go point track box it and have it follow the vehicle but um, it's not the way I'm going to do it because that's not the way they did it in real life and uh, it could very well be changed so um, that's pretty much it the only other thing I've got is that uh, another way they did do the designation instead of just relying fully on the targeting pod was uh, with the HUD you'd go HUD in command um, you dip your nose towards the target and you would uh, where the flight path marker is if you press designate that's where the designation will slew to anyway um, that's it I hope uh, you've learned a little bit I do apologize for my earlier video with the incorrect information but uh, hey the more you know right that's all I've got y'all take care now